all right you kiwi developers welcome back so in the last video we started creating our simple paint app and we just created this black window so in this video we are going to be learning about four things the first thing is changing the background color currently it's just black and it doesn't look good and then secondly we are going to be learning about the rgba color system that kiwi uses and then we are going to cover on touch down method we have already covered this a little bit in pong game more specifically the on touch move function but this kind of acts the same way and then third is we are going to learn about this color property inside Kiwi that allows us to change the color of any kind of object that is inside our canvas or our window. So if we create a circle or an ellipse, we'll be able to change its color using this color property. And then we'll be learning how to draw a circle and an ellipse using code. So in our Pong game, we learned how to draw a circle and a rectangle using our .kiwi file. We created a new file over here, .kiwi. But instead of that, we are going to learn how to create these shapes and how to change these shapes dynamically using our code. You don't always need a .kiwi file. And this is going to be kind of a theme of the Simple Paint app, how to manipulate and how to create these kind of graphics using just our code. So let's get started with the first step that is changing background color. For that, we need to import something known as a window from Kiwi. So we are going to go over here and write from kiwi.core.window and we are going to import this functionality of a window from over here. And then we need to clear color or draw some kind of a color on our window. So what we are going to do is just above this class. So whenever you are writing this code, make sure it's at the top level because basically we are recreating, we are clearing this black color and we are writing this new color or drawing this new color on top of this black color. That's why it needs to be at the top of all of our code. So we are just going to write window dot clear color. And then inside this, we are going to provide four values. This is basically the RGBA system, which I'm going to explain to you in a sec. So right now we are just going to put four ones over here and let me format this properly and run this main.py file again. And you should see the white color on the background. So you can see that there is a white color. So how is this RGBA system working? So RGB basically stands for red, green, and blue. So when we are writing over here one 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 we are basically saying yes one is basically like the yes or no system or the binary system of numbers so zero is no and one is yes so it's basically asking do you want red we said yes do you want green we said yes do you want blue and we said yes so let me just add a comment over here which says rgba so basically it means red green blue and then the last one stands for opacity so basically how much transparent do you want your uh, color to be so right now we are just going to write solid so one basically means solid it's not transparent at all and zero basically means full transparency so over here we have said that the red should be one the green should be one the blue should be one and the combination of these colors so any color in your color scheme for example violet purple any any of these colors can be created by mixing these three basic colors these are like the very basic colors that can mix together to create any color even black or black is basically zero 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 so let's say we just wanted the red color on our screen so what we are going to do is red we are going to say yes then blue green we are just going to say no and the blue we are going to say no so this should give us a red color let's reload our window and see if it works so you can see that the red color is over here now let's try it with green so we are going to say we don't want red and we are going to say we want green and uh, blue we don't want so let's reload it and you'll be able to see that the green color is over here now what if you want some other colors instead of this just basic colors of red green and blue so what i want you guys to do is go to rgb color just google rgb color and then go to this uh, w3schools website i mean there are a lot of websites which will give you the rgb values so for example the red is 25500 but in our code we are writing 100 so what is that so what kiwi does is that it takes each value and divides it by 255 so for example if we want red color we write 100 and don't focus on this opacity right now just focus on these three values so basically we are saying red we want and kiwi is basically dividing this 255 by 255 which gives us one so for example, if we want some other color, let's say, let's mix it a little bit green, let's mix a little bit blue. It's kind of like a peach color. So you can see red is 255. So what we are gonna do is to attain this color, what we need to do is first we are gonna go over here and we have in our RGBA that the red is 255. So we can just leave it to one or we can also do just for the sake of consistency, we are gonna take our 255 and divide it by 255.0. Basically, this is what Kiwi is doing. So, and the second one, that is the green one, we want the value of 155. So we are gonna go over here in the green one 
and we are going to write 155 divided by 255.0 so we are adding this 0 0.0 because we want the float values and not the integer values and similarly for blue it's going to be 128 divided by 255 so over here we are going to write 128 divided by 255.0 and this should give us this peach color over here so let's run it and see if it works all right, so this is the peach color that we wanted. But right now, just let's just leave it to white color because it looks uh, simplistic and good for us. So I'm just gonna leave it to one, one, one. But if you want to change it to some other color, you can just go over here, pick some other color and whatever you want, and then just divide it by 255.0. And this is all we needed to know about the RGBA system. And we have colored the changing background color and RGBA colors. This is also going to come in handy when we go to the third step. So this video has already been pretty long, it's almost touching 6 minutes, so I'll cover the rest of the steps, the 2nd, 3rd and 4th in the next video. So I'll see you over there.